hey 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 hi everyone welcome back to my channel um for those that don't know my name is paula and i am today going to be sharing some scholarship that i found and i just want to share that with you this is a scholarship or these are scholarships because they are raised loads of several scholarships actually um at the university of liverpool and they are phd projects that are funded and also self-funded but obviously because it's scholarship we're going to be looking at just the um, funded option so what i do is there's quite a lot of them so what i've ticked um is the only uh, funded phds but i do notice that there are some that are also not funded there so um you will just go through and quickly pick them out uh, the ones that are self-funded uh, sorry the ones that are funded what is self-funded the ones that are funded and also open to students worldwide so when it's open to students worldwide that means that you can apply as an international student so excuse me there's this one um a biotic and biotic effectors of uh, colonization in the skin microbiome so obviously this would be for someone that is doing some things around skin and microbiome and the rest of that um and the deadline is on the 28th of february 2020 fully funded scholarship um there is another one this is another one open to international student yeah um 25th of march it's around accounting and finance for those that are within the management school. Um, this one, for example, is only open to UK applicants. So obviously you as an international student may not be able to apply. Um, but there are so many other ones. This is another one fully funded um, for um, deadline the 31st of August. Now, the thing with these scholarships is that they are open However, if they do get suitable candidates or candidates, depending on how many they require, they would actually close this. So you don't wait until the 31st because it says 31st of August um, before you apply, apply ASAP. Um, there's just a few of them. So let's just click on one of them. Um, this is automation of biodegradation testing using robots. So if we click on it, um, it tells you the faculty, so for it's faculty of um, sciences and engineering, school of physical sciences, um, full funded studentship, um, open to students worldwide. Uh, there's also supervisor already attached to this project. So Professor Andy Cooper um, is already attached to it. If you have any questions, you would do well to contact this um, professor as attached to this projects now um this is a uh, uh, is funded by the epsrc prosperity partnership um i think it's something around clean cleaner futures probably going to have element of um climate change and the environmental elements involved in that so you go all the way down and it says here now, this is it. Applicants should hold or expect to obtain a good degree equivalent to a first class or second class upper in chemistry, material sciences, or related disciplines. So if you have chemistry, if you're a graduate of chemistry, um, material sciences, or related discipline, this would be something you want to um, look into. You would um, apply, that's the application link, and you can just click and apply. You will need your CV, you would need uh, two reference letters, um, definitely your transcript uh, to support the application. And you would definitely need to um, write on why you will be suitable for that uh, application. So this application is, um, yeah. You've got you. You'll be given fifteen thousand pounds each uh, in terms of maintenance per annum, and um, UK non-applicant, non-UK applicants may um, have to contribute. But you would have to check that with them um, to be sure if you need to contribute to that fee or not. But this is just something I want to share. There's quite a few of them, as you can see. So um, what I've done is because there's quite a lot of them and um, some are funded, some are not funded, some are open to UK only, some are open to international students. So what I've done is to go through all of them and I'm going to add um, the, the documents into this uh, video so that you can have a look on the ones because there's a lot of them. 
So you can have a look and see the ones that are open to um, international students and are funded because that's the one that we want, right? Okay, so um, I'm just going to get the one that Okay, so like I was saying, I just wanted to show you from that scholarship list, the ones that are open to international students and they are also um, funded with um, stipends as well. So I have pulled them out and these are the ones that as you can see with the links that are open to international students. And I've also added the dates of um, each deadline. So when they will be due. Um, like I said, there are some of them, you could see this, they are quite far away. For example, in December, November. Uh, but the thing is they are not waiting on to, they might not wait until the end of that time frame. So where there's a suitable scholarship um, candidate that they are happy with, they most likely will be going with that and the scholarship will close at that point. So once you find the one that you're interested in and you're happy with, um, please just put in your application as soon as you can for any of these. So I'm going to add this to the link of this um, recording and just um, make it available for those that might want to look into this folder for PhD sponsorship in the UK. All right, that's the end of this session. Thank you for watching. Do have a good day. Bye-bye.